please take your boards. This board, it is, uh, it is Discovery board, board uh, so-called IoT. IoT because the main purpose of this board is to support development process of the cloud connectivity. This board is uh, quite rich uh, of the connectivity uh, peripherals like Wi-Fi, sub gigahertz, uh, Bluetooth, uh, and it is equipped with a lot of sensors. Uh, the MEM sensors like accelerator, magnetometer, temperature sensor, humidity, pressure, and proximity sensor. So we have laser on board as well. Uh, but today, and, and the microcontroller on the top is the STM32L475. Uh, it is a Cortex M4 microcontroller from low power family. And today, starting from this lab, we will focus on the real neural network implementation. It will be audio or acoustic scene classification. We will be uh, we'll try to distinguish between three classes, three states. Indoor, what means? In meeting room, in apartment, in shop, uh, or similar. Outdoor, which means on the street, in the forest, in the field, wherever. And in vehicle, which means in car, in tram, in, in uh, train. Uh, as, as, as an input, we will use MEMS microphone. It is clear? And this application came from our function pack. Function pack, again, it is, it is in, uh, in, in the wording of ST. It is set of not trivial example, examples which simulates the real use case of customer application. Uh, and such an such a example can help you very much to start the development process. At, and in our case, it is really not trivial because this application is free, Arthur, free Arthos based. There is Bluetooth connectivity. There is dedicated custom bootloader and possibility to uh, update the firmware over the air. Uh, there is a uh, USB mass storage profile mm, uh, and uh, uh, interface to uh, sensors. Not it in this case, it will be microphone, as I, as I mentioned. Uh, I would like to highlight that we have a uh, custom bootloader in this application and the application itself. And there is quite important consequence behind, because the custom uh, customer custom loader is, located, is allocated to the particular area of the memory, flash memory, and the application is allocated to the different area of the flash memory. What means that we cannot use to, uh, to, 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 to update the application from the ID level, like through Studio, or Klot, or whatever, we cannot download the application. We need to use external uh, script and ST link utility. So this is, uh, this is uh, uh, our programmer uh, or debugger software to download, to flash custom bot bot loader to particular area of memory and then flash uh, Mm, application itself. But now we'll start from very, very basic. And we will do, do uh, we'll use this script during last lab, lab four. But now we'll start from very simple flashing and playing. So we have 25 minutes to the break. I think it is quite enough. Okay, let's start. Let's take your board and one micro USB cable and connect the, ca the, the USB cable to the ST-Link micro-USB 
port, it is located close to the white ceramic antenna, the bigger, the bigger one ceramic antenna here. So the this is sub gigahertz radio module, like this, close to the red LED. Okay. Then please start STM32 Cube Programmer. The next step. Now we need our binary because we'll just flash. Uh, this is the image of the of the flash memory, the dump of the memory. So we have custom but bootloader and the application as a one binary file. So you, you need to uh, go to this folder, c slash ai slash fpai sensing one, then projects, then bl475, applications, sensing, binary, and please select uh, sensing one underscore bl. bl means bootloader. Of course, before, sorry for I didn't mention, you need to connect to your board using ST-Link resource and open and, and uh, select this tab, open file, and then go to the, to the folder. If you open the, the, the binary file, just to remind you, sensing one underscore BL, please do not mix this file with sensing one dot bin. We need bootloader. Uh, we can go further and then download the binary here in the area of upper right corner and then when you get the file download complete please press disconnect I will do it as, as well Okay, when downloaded, please open terminal. I suggest to use TerraTerm. We need breaks between characters. So now we'll connect to the virtual COM port of the ST-Link debugger on the top of the board. This is the functionality, one of the functionality of our ST-Link debugger. Uh, and this virtual COM port is connected to the USART of the microcontroller and uh, is acting as a debug output. So for the TerraTerm file, new connection, and please select the ST Microelectronics virtual COM port. Okay, and the communication parameters set up uh, maybe I will start from font, let's say 12. Again, setup, serial port, 115 kilobits per second, 8 bit character without parity and one stop bit. Okay, and then press black button, it is reset. And now we are looking for this field, the Mach number of our Bluetooth module. Do you know why? Be because we need to connect to our board, not to board of our colleague. If you can see the series of FF here, please reset again your board. What we can do now? We can practice our neural network, we can try our net neural network, so please take your mobile phones and start STBLE sensor application. Then, of course, you need to activate the Bluetooth on your mobile phone and locate your MAC address of the Bluetooth. And then select and connect. And when connected, please navigate to the screen number four. And we have quite big uh, over-the-air traffic we have a lot of Bluetooth modules in one room, so be patient. 
or try to rescan if you would not be able to find. And now you can see the temperature on the first screen. It's a little bit too much, 27 degrees. And it, it seems it is a rainy day, considering the atmospheric pressure. And when and I'm just navigated to the fourth sc screen, and I can see the output. Now we are indoor. We are indoor. And now, very important point. Important message. We are indoor with the probability of 81%. The first number, it is the first class proba prediction probability. The first class is indoor. And the number uh, uh, associated is uh, zero. ASC0 means that we are indoor with the probability of the first column. The second column, it is, it is the outdoor probability detection and the third column, is, it is in vehicle. There is also vintage user interface. You can close your application And then, let me reset the screen. So edit and clear buffer. I'm resetting the board. I need to change the font. Let's say 9. Reset. OK, there is a Linux-like prompt, and we have command line interface for those who prefer the vintage interface, the command line interface. We can uh, type help for the list of the commands, and the uh, equivalent command to the mobile phone application is ASC, audio stream classification, space, Start. And you can see the neural network running process again. And just to remind you, first column, it is the indoor probability, the second column, outdoor probability, and the third one, it is in vehicle probability. And please skip first several, several seconds of the, of the data acquisition and let the the application to be stabilized. I will, show, I, I will explain you why later on, when we will go deeper into details of the pre-processing, unfortunately. Okay, we have five minutes to the break. So, I think, yeah. Yes, this is real time. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But this this application, this audio stream classification, you can start different uh, application, a human activity recognition, mm -hmm. and then move the board. Uh, okay, the, uh, very good input. If you if you would like to play more. You can select the human activity recognition. It is the screen number three or five. Uh, or and try to simulate the walking or uh, running or biking but just by shaking the board. So I will stop. <laughs> 